one thing that I've realized is that the perception that men lose power when they become equal or they allow women to have an open space where they can share with them. And to me, I, uh, I use my time, my power, to be able to engage with men and to tell them that there are greater benefits when you, you, you allow uh, women to thrive in the society. Because again, who are these women? I, I use my, my, my time and energy to make men understand that the women are not people on the periphery, so to speak, but they are, they are our sisters, they are our mothers, they are our daughters, they are our wives, they are our aunties, and they are part and parcel of this society. So I look at it from, not only from a social uh, uh, context, but also from a, a human right-based approach where these are people that need to be respected all the time. But talking, uh, talking to men does not only mean talking to them about supporting women and all that, but it also has a lot to do with them realizing their role in the community, realizing that they have a bigger role to play based on the, those powers and privileges that they have as, as members of a society, including the fact that they also, sometimes you need to engage men because of their vulnerabilities, because sometimes men's, men also suffer from um, uh, atrocities that are also perpetrated or meted on them by other men and essentially that calls upon them to understand that whenever they engage in something good uh, they, are, they are not doing it for the women but they are doing it for the, la the common good and the larger good of the society in which they are uh, part and parcel of. I, I think uh, this field in terms of engaging men and boys really need to move from just talking about issues of sexual and gender-based violence, but really to talk about issues of human rights. Because that, that, that's, that's the ultimate for me. And uh, because sexual and gender-based violence is just an entry point, but there are a number of things that really needs to be done to, be, uh, to, to make sure that even uh, the prevention of sexual and gender-based violence uh, does, uh, does happen rather than the response that we constantly see happening. And I think the, the, the ultimate will be to see a situation where the men's movement can be able to work uh, without any, without, without any um, negative competition with the women and other social, uh, so, uh, social justice movements. Because if we work in isolation then, uh, and yet the, we are fighting a common problem, then uh, I, I think somehow there are resources that are going into waste. So we need to find a common grounding, a common footing where we can work together even with other social justice movements. When I started doing this work was based on my sister was in college and she she was doing well in, in, in her college work and my dad had just retired and he wanted my sister to come out of college to be married so that uh, according to her so that he could get something out to help him in his retirement, which I thought was very bad and it was very crazy. Uh, and and I, I thought if he was using his power as the parent and as the father to make my sister stop going to school, that was really crazy for me because that situation alone ended up my dad and mom separating based on that because my mom was totally, totally against it. At that time I had just come from my secondary school and I, I, ha I really had no much power but I, I resisted that and I told my dad, hey look, this is not going to happen. He ended up telling me I don't want to see you and he, he actually confiscated my, my, my primary and secondary papers uh, because he, he wanted to exercise his authority over me. So one thing that I, I, I derived from that, 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 that scenario was that I was not going to be like him. That's how it started. And I said, I'll never be like you. I want a society where I'll use my authority, I'll use my power to bring about change and to make another person thrive. Not only a woman, but also another boy who is in the society. And for me, it has always been about being a role model.